Greetings and salutations to our very respected lecturer, Ms. Nur Hidayati. So today we would like to do our role play, but first let us introduce ourselves first. So my name is Rain George and I will be acting as a business manager in this role play. Thank you. My name is Jesse Fred and I will act as a banker. Thank you. My name is Mary Elena Joel and I will act as a partner one. Thank you. My name is Elvi Kinto and I will act as second partner. Thank you. And my name is Rukami and I will act as a partner too. Thank you. Thank you everyone. So before we start with our role play, let me briefly explain about our loan scenario. So basically for our loan scenario, it is about a team of builders that they uh, want to start businesses and they have 50 years um, experience in the construction industry. So in the past, uh, they basically have their own companies, but uh, because of the lack management, so it, it have led them to bankrupt. So in these new businesses, um, they plan to borrow money and also hire a business manager so they are able to prevent a lack management in the future. So I think that's all for the introductory part. Okay, now we will, we will proceed to our role play, but let us turn off our camera first. Hello everyone. Okay, now uh, we will be waiting for our uh, for the credit manager at the Alliance Bank, and she will be here soon. Greetings, everyone. Now let us get started. Could you tell me a little bit about your company background and its profile? Thank you, Miss Jessie. So now I want to talk about our company profile. The name of our company is Kiki Construction Company. With, and sorry, it was started by combination of team of builder with a combined 50 years in the construction industry. The type of service that involve in our company are connected with the construction, renovation, repair, reconstruction, or other improvement to the property. And Kiki Construction Company will undertake a project for Altiris House. Moreover, the builder in our company all have great experience in home construction industry. With the right of experience, Kiki Construction Company always work closely with all parties involved in the project to complete the job ahead of schedule with high quality and available profit. And for our company vision to the, sorry, for our company vision to deliver project consistently to customer and provide excellent service, value and innovative construction solution. And for our company mission is to achieve customer satisfaction through quality design and construction service and to become the most preferred choice customer by delivering quality, timely, and value-added project. That's all for our company profile. Thank you. Thank you very much, Miss Mary. May I now inquire about the loan details for your company? Thank you. Thank you, uh, Miss uh, Mary, and also Miss Jessie. Okay, now I would like to proceed with the loan request information, but uh, give me a second. I will share the screen. Okay, so for the loan request information, first let's take a look into the loan, loan term and also amount. Um, basically, Kiki Constructions Company, they want to apply a loan amounted to RM uh, 1,000 1, ringgit. And I am sorry, 100,000 ringgit. And for the loan interest, they are preferred to have 6% interest 
and also a loan that have five year terms. Okay, next let's move into the repayment plan. So um, I have done uh, calculations for the repayment plan. And if said, once the loan is received and KK Constructions Company, they will expect it to pay um, the loan uh, for the monthly pay, uh, loan payment around um, 2,000 ringgit, uh, 2,166 uh, ringgit and 67 cents. So that's all for the loan um, request information. You had mentioned the loan information previously, so I was wondering if you could tell me why your organization needs the loan in the first place. Thank you. Thank you again. So now let's proceed with the loan purpose, uh, loan request purpose. So uh, basically, KK Constructions Company, they apply this loan and they will use this loan to, um, um, to finance the expenses as well as use the loan to buy um, additional material, additional supply, and also the additional um, asset. So in, the, in, the, in this next, I'm sorry, in the next sections, I will present uh, to you with the, list, the requirement of listing, I'm sorry, the requirement at uh, listing of an item. So um, Bika, please uh, take, the next sessions. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Mr. Ryan, and hello, Ms. Jesse. I will explain about purchase of construction materials. This is the item we need for construction materials. First is wood with 19 ringgit 80 cents per price per unit, clay brick with 4 ringgit per unit, and hollow block with 2 ringgit per unit, finish grade 381 cement with 25 ringgit per unit, Genting Roman scanner CBS modern roof with 5 ringgit per unit, and BRC keeping metal floor for reasoning with 46 per unit, and last additional equipment have three cement mixer with 5,600 per unit, and total 16,800 ringgit. That's all from me and I will pass the next session to Mr. Ryan. Thank you. Thank you, uh, thank you, uh, thank you, Ms. Ripka. So now uh, for the second listing here, this is the additional asset that the company is required. So first, uh, the computer. Since um, KK Constructions Company in the constructions industry, so a better computer or a better processor computer is really important for them. So this is because um, they are, can use the computer to run multiple tasks and um, run a software called AutoCAD uh, for their businesses. And secondly, they also need Wi-Fi. Yes, Wi-Fi. This is because um, this is uh, really important. So they will be able to surf internet and find related information uh, regarding to the uh, constructions industry. And I think that's all for the additional asset and LV will continue with the feature and fixture, furniture and fixture. LV, go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Ryan, and hello, Ms. Jesse. Here I will explain the furniture and fixture that we need for our upcoming company. Since our company are expected to open soon, so we have to buy first office reception cashier counter table with 588 ringgit, director office table with 1065 ringgit, office drawer 210 ringgit, 2000 ringgit per unit, and office mesh chair with 250 ringgit per unit. So the total price is 4000. 115 for now but soon we will buy more furniture especially for the work session cubicle and the office mess chair so if we are not taking a loan we will we are not able to purchase this furniture and fixture that we need that's all from me thank you miss jesse many thanks to everyone who contributed as a result of your help, 
I will now have some information on the loan and how it might be used. Now, would you mind providing me with some further information on your financial statement in addition to the ratio? After that, I will be able to take into consideration your request for a loan. Thank you again, Ms. Jesse. Now I will proceed with the, um, the financial um, statement projection as well as the financial ratio. So okay, now I would like to present with you with our financial statement projection report and also financial ratio analysis. First and foremost, let's take a look into our income statement first. So for our income statement projections, um, in terms of the total revenue in the first year, it will be expected to record around 1 million to 100,000. And also it should be noted that in the year two until year five, um, the revenue will expected to increase 5% uh, each year. This is because of um, KK Constructions Company, they are expected to do a, a marketing. And by the end of the year five, the total revenue is expected to um, increase and recorded around 2,277,000 ringgit. Okay, now look into our um, total expenses in the year one, it will be expected recorded around 72,789 ringgit and five cent. By the end of the year five, it will be expected to record around 71,006 ringgit and 71 cents. So um, looking, uh, look into our net profit here, um, this is after deducting out uh, the total expenses and the taxes. In the year one, it will be expected to record around 575,000 uh, for 408 ringgit and 22 cents. By the end of the year five, it will be expected to increase and recorded around 1,384,494 ringgit and 97 cents. So I think that's all for our income statement. And I would like to proceed with the balance sheets. So for our total asset in the year one, it will be expected to record around 1,299 million two hundred ninety-nine um, ringgit. I'm sorry. 1,299,327 ringgit and 90 cents. So by the end of the year five, it will be expected, it will be expected to record around 5,124,914 ringgit and 89 cents. Okay, now in terms of our liabilities, in the year one, it will be expected to record around 115,390 ringgit and 88, uh, 68 cents. So by the end of the year five, our liability only expected to be recorded around 33,000. In terms of, uh, term of the owner equity, so our total owner equity will be expected to record at around 600, 8,600. So this is um, the total that came from the contributions of each partner inside the businesses. And finally, our total liability and equity here, um, for the year one, it will be expected to record around 1,299,327 ringgit and uh, 90 cents. So the total liability and equities uh, is same as the total um, set um, start from day one until year five. So that's all for the balance sheets. Now let's proceed to the cash flow. So as everybody can see here, our total operating activities by the end of the year five, the total operating activity is expected to record around 4,553,514 ringgit and 89 cents. And by the end of the year five, our ending cash balance is expected to be uh, recorded around 5,043,514 ringgit and 89 cents. So I think that's all for the um, financial statement projections. Now let me proceed again with the financial ratio analysis. Give me a second. 
Okay, now let me um, present with you with our financial ratio analysis. Firstly, let's take a look to our current ratio. So for the Kiki Construction Company current ratio, the estimated financial uh, statement projection showed a favorable for five consecutive years. So this indicate that um, our company is able to meet its short term obligations and also enjoy a flexibility in businesses. Other than that, in terms of our debt ratio, um, it's uh, for the five consecutive year, it's shown below 50%. So this indicates that our companies does not depend too much on the debt for uh, to finance it, its activity. Um, it can be said that a company that are shown more than uh, 50%, it can be said that the businesses really depended on the debt to, to run their businesses. Next, uh, for the ATR or asset turnover ratio, um, for four consecutive years, the ATR shown above the average acceptable, uh, acceptable percentage. Um, so uh, by referring into the acceptable uh, percentage, it is basically between a 0 0.25 to 0 0.5. So below it's considered, uh, below 0 0.25, it's consi consi uh, considered not good. So um, since Kiki Construction's companies, mostly uh, their um, percentage is above 50%. So this indicate that um, Kiki Cons Construction's company is efficient in generating uh, revenue from its asset. Although, uh, although it has shown a decline in terms of the percentage for the four consecutive years, however, we're still able to maintain a good percentage, with me, uh, which mean above uh, 0.5%. Last but not least, for the return on asset, um, looking at the ROA of Kiki Constructions Company for the five uh, consecutive years, um, it's shown uh, that it is above uh, a good or acceptable percentage. So based on the rule term, ROA that above 20% is considered really good and below 5% uh, is considered low or not good. So since all the percentage here are uh, shown above 20%, so this indicate that KK Construction's companies is able to maximize its asset to obtain more profit. Okay, so I think that's all for the financial statement projection report and the financial ratio analysis. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mr. Rayon. I have gathered all information that I need. Um, so far as I can see, your company have a good conditions in terms of your financial. So give me a second so I can decide. So I have made my final conclusion. I will accept your loan and I will suggest it. So, but in for your information, I will suggest to you Alliance Digital SME. And it was according to your eligibility. So you guys can share your company bank statement and any other related supporting documents to proceed. Um, that's all from me. I'm looking forward on your business and I will contact you in any time soon. Thank you. Um, thank you very much, uh, Ms. Jessie. 